Hello, Bill Hayes again. Today I'm going to be shooting a uh, how to shoot video. The slingshot I'm going to be using is one from uh, from my Pocket Predator series. This one is in aluminum. There's also one in bronze. It's a, it's about a pound and uh, an ounce and it's an extremely stable shooting platform. This one's a little bit lighter. It's seven and a half ounces. Fits in your pocket. You can put it all day carry with it. Really, really nice slingshot. Anyway, I'm going to be using this one as my as my slingshot to do the to do the uh, shooting video with. And uh, there's some things about shooting that people have asked me, said, how do you shoot so accurately? Well, it starts with a slingshot. Mine are designed so that they shoot from the side, and they're designed to shoot from the side. It's uncomfortable for me to take a slingshot, this one, and actually pull it and turn it to where it's the forks are up like this. You see how my wrist cocks and it's out of, out of, out of alignment this way, right? To push it out like that, I really get out of alignment. But guess what? When I turn it to the side, where the where the forks are straight up on top on top of each other, it's very very easy, and I can get a lot of uh, a lot of accuracy this way. Okay, the basic idea is the bands line up one on top of each other. Okay, when the bands line up on the, on top of each other, boom. Then I know that I'm dead in line with the target. Then all I have to do is worry about elevation. So I line my bands on the target. And then all I have to do is worry about how high or low I'm shooting. Okay. As you're shooting, sometimes people will make mistakes. As they're doing this, they'll cant their uh, slingshot. They'll they'll turn it like this or back a little bit. That's not a good that's not a good thing to get into doing. You'll uh, make fork kids, You'll hit your hit your own forks. Maybe even off your own finger. Anyway, you want your uh, slingshot to be flat like this. To be dead straight. You pull back from here, find an anchor point or a little beyond. Line, bands line up under your eye. Okay. Now, all I've done here is I have a uh, pony clamp with some uh, with a magnet and some steel balls on it. It's a very very simple thing you can do. You can get that from Harbor Freight or anywhere. Put it together. All right. There's a uh, soda can on a on a chain over there, 30, 33 feet away from here. All I do is push it out, flatten. Make sure it's good, you know, the perfect flatness. I pull out slightly beyond an anchor point. With my right eye, because I'm right eye dominant, the bands line up under my eye. I aim and fire. I shoot right through that can, okay? As I'm looking at the can, I'm reading the letters on the can. That's what I want you to do as well. Practice all the time. Same movements over and over and over and over again until you finally get it right. You want to start a little bit closer, maybe 15 feet away, maybe 20 feet away. Get yourself a gallon container. Shoot at a gallon container. I'm shooting at a soda pop can from 33 feet away. That's an easy target for me because I've done it a lot. For you, as a beginner, it's not going to be easy. All right, again, from here, push out. This comes in line. I pull beyond my anchor point. Most people's anchor point is right here below the cheekbone. I pull a little bit beyond. The bands line up under my eye. I aim at the target and fire. Now, as I fire, I don't go like this. It's not an explosive movement here. From here, it's a relaxed movement. Relax. From here, this is tight and strong and flat. This, where I'm holding, I relax. I just relax. Just relax. You don't explode it out. That causes movement. You want as little movement as possible, okay? And again. Put your uh, put your shot in your pouch. You should be wearing it safety glasses. I know I'm not. See your target. Read the lettering on your target. From here, look at it. See it. Pull beyond or at your anchor point. Line up your band and fire. Anybody can do this. It's very very simple. If you use the right slingshot, it really really helps though. But you can do it with a with a fork off of a tree. You know, just the wire a wire fork off of a tree. Same concept applies. You just line the bands up. See your target behind it. And then fire. So I'm, again, I'm right here. I pull. For me, I'm going to pull beyond my anchor point. See my target. And hit. Very simple. One last one. I'm not going to bore you to death with doing the same movement over and over and over again. Bore yourself to death. Do the same movement over and over and over again. Okay, see my target, right there. 
try to read the lettering. In this case, the lettering on it is turned to me to where I see the to where I see the ingredients on the Coke can. Okay, well I'm looking at that. I try to read those. From here, I, I put my slingshot out. The corner right here is in the middle of that of that uh, of, that, of that can. I pull out. My bands line up under my eye. Pull, look, see, and fire. Okay. Look at your can. See the lettering on the can. Read it. Pick up. Pull. Now that last time I had the, this part of my fork on the can itself. Now well, I'll just I'll compensate a little bit. I'll pull it down a hair because that because that shot was dead in line, but it went that far above the can. So what I'll do is I'll is I'll compensate by dropping my my uh, aim a hair. So instead of putting the fork on the middle of the can, I'll put it on the bottom of the can. All right. Pull, C, aim, and fire. That's how you adjust. You pull it out, and if it's too high, well, you drop it. If it's too low, well, you raise it. If your bands are lined up, you're always going to be shooting dead in line with it. You just have to worry about elevation up and down. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Pocket Predator in aluminum, and it's from Hogan's Castings in England. You can get them from them, or you can go and uh, uh, onto slingshotforums.com. You can get one of these off of there. They're not very expensive. These will last you a lifetime. You can pass it on to your grandkids. This is this is an extremely nice slingshot. Won't wear out. Won't break easy. I mean, you could take a hammer to it, maybe dim it a little bit or something, but it's not going to break. Uh, but you can go on slingshotforums.com and get one of these off of the vendor section, or you can go to uh, uh, pretty soon you'll be able to go to pocketpredator.com, which will be my website. I just haven't got it up yet. I haven't had enough time. So you'll be able to get one of these or one of my other designs, and they're all just all the ones I have so far are designed so that you can have dead-on accuracy when you're holding it, a slingshot with the bands onto the side. Okay? Some people call that gangster style. I just call it side shooting. All right. Thank you for watching.